Fellas, if you've seen me fishing for any length of time, you've seen me wearing these stinking boots on, man. I'll tell you a quick story. Uh, back before I was diagnosed diabetic and all, I went on a fishing trip. This was actually about 10 years ago, probably now. And I took a week off work. I was gonna just fish every day that week or something. And so I go out the first day and I went out, this was back when I had my P-Row, right? P-Row is like a swamp canoe. Wonderful day, didn't catch anything. And you know, I got back to the boat dock and I was barefoot and I was stupid, you know? Slick, slippery rocks, barefoot. Foot slip, boom! Hit one of the rocks, man. Oh, it hurt so much, you know? Went to the doctor, thought I broke my foot, turns out I didn't. Then it started swelling and then it started oozing this pus and goop. Turns out I had completely separated the toe from the toenail and that river water got in there and it started setting up infection. If I didn't do something quick, I was gonna lose my freaking foot, man. I had to just every day take some rubbing alcohol and actually separate the two and wash it out with the rubbing alcohol and put it back together and just keep it clean that way. And, it's, and had I had a boot on like this, a waterproof steel-toed boot I never would have had that mishap and now that I'm diabetic one of the things about diabetes is that if I were diabetic then and not had the protection of this boot I would have probably lost my foot I would have almost lost my foot being perfectly healthy but now it's just not I can't mess with it for years you know you guys know I worked in a restaurant right this company called shoes for cruise footwear that's oil resistant and slip resistant for restaurant people. And so I had been wearing shoes for crews for some time, for several years. And I said, well, you know, and then I had that accident. I said, you know, I really gotta do something about this. So I went and looked and see what kind of boots they had. They had any kind of fishing boots. Sure enough, they did. They have several. This is the Guardian. I think they call it the Guardian 4 now. Uh, it's a steel-toed boot that is Anti-micro, antibacterial. It is has electrical uh, protection ratings, and it has a non-slip tread pattern on here that work very much like the treads on your car tires. And I just don't slip on the rocks anymore. I don't. My feet don't get hurt. You got that hard steel toe on there. If a fourth lift runs over your foot, it, it, there's no protecting it, okay? But that's not what we're doing. We're just impacting against the rocks. When I launch and retrieve my boat, I can stand up to this high. You know, have you ever seen guys at the boat dock where they're trying to launch their boat or recover their boat without getting in the water and getting wet and it's like ridiculous? Something like this where you have 16 inches. I mean, this thing comes up to your calf. When I get out of the boat, I just step out into the water you step out in water this deep, you know, no problem. Uh, and one of the things I like about this is that it has a nice grip in here. So it's very easy for you to pick up the boots, even with wet hands, you can hold on to them. There's some sort of fabric in there, insole here on the bottom that makes it comfortable. And, they, and this little tab right here, it makes it easy to kick off. You can just kick it off with one foot, you know, how you kick off your shoes like you're not supposed to. Well, they actually, do that on purpose here. If you guys are interested in something like that, check out Shoes for Crews. Type in, go into the men's or women's, whatever you have, and 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 type in work boots, and they'll there so you'll see several of theirs. Uh, and if you choose to buy, and by the time you're watching this or something or some of you, you you can if you want to buy, you can buy from my affiliate link that's in the description below, which means if you buy, I'll get a commission of that. But I've been fi I've been fishing with these things for like a couple of years, and I've been wearing their shoes for probably like 10 years now. I'll see you later.